Harvard has voted to approve what could become the nation's first publicly funded religious school. The applicant. This is great news, mashallah. So this is a public school or a private religious school that's going to be funded using taxpayer money. So this is great news. This really helps to undermine the secular education that's used to indoctrinate people against religion. The Young Turks oppose this because they're secular propagandists. So their job is to promote liberalism and secularism, secular liberal ideology, and religion is the number one obstacle to that. Education came from the Catholic Arch Archdiocese of Oklahoma. It aims to create an on from kindergarten through 12th grade. It would be funded by taxpayer dollars and Oklahoma's attorney general warns it's unconstitutional and opens the state to potential litigation. Well, uh, it does certainly open the state to potential litigation because we do live in a society that is, you know, governed by a constitution that separates church and state. The idea of public money pouring into a religious institution, in this case, a religious Catholic school, seems to go against those constitutional protections. Well, Anna, not everyone believes in secularism. Not everyone holds those values. You know, notice how these liberals try to place liberal ideology, secular ideology as the ultimate thing, the con constitution. You know, that's like their Bible, pretty much. But nonetheless, the Supreme Court, considering how conservative... But before we get to the Supreme Court, why don't we talk a little bit about this school in Oklahoma? So it's called the St. Isidore of Seville Catholic Virtual School, and I think its purpose is pretty clear here. The Catholic Archdiocese of Oklahoma and the Diocese of Tulsa wrote in their application to form the school the following. So they wrote that the Catholic school participants in the evangelizing mission of the church and is privileged environment and is the privileged environment in which Christian education is carried out. It is a Christian school. It is a, a religious school, I should say. The school was approved by a three to two vote on Monday of this week, thanks to some last minute political maneuvering, which you're about to learn. Approval of any publicly funded religious school is contrary to Oklahoma law and not in the best interest of taxpayers. It's extremely disappointing that board members violated their oath in order to fund religious schools with our tax dollars. In doing so, these members have exposed themselves and the state to potential legal action. So I just wanna ask the state of Oklahoma, those who are proponents of what's transpiring here, if they would be okay with taxpayer money being funneled to a religious Muslim school understand what she's trying to do here she's trying to make an argument from hypocrisy so she's trying to say that oh as a christian you wouldn't support muslims doing this or jews doing this therefore don't support it and it's this this uh argument that liberals and secularists often use is to say that secularism even if you don't agree with it gives everyone religious freedom and is the most fair system this is what they usually appeal to to non-secular uh non-liberal individuals John. Uh, sure, Michael, all clear now, but earlier today, that's right, what a mess out here. Hundreds of people swarmed the parking lot here outside the Glendale Unified School District board meeting. Some of them did get violent and police arrested three people after fights broke out and some refused police orders to disperse. Those inside the school board meeting were, were told to shelter in place until the crowds could be cleared out. All this over the inclusion of LGBTQ studies in the classroom. This fly outside a Glendale Unified School District board meeting. Pro and anti-LGBTQ plus protesters clashing over the school board's plan to adopt a resolution designating June as LGBT Pride Month, something they've done since 2019. We are fighting for the rights of those children who don't want to be indoctrinated. Those opposed to recognizing LGBTQ plus issues in schools and conservative groups say California's curriculum, which is what Glendale Unified follows, on LGBTQ plus issues is not appropriate for children. We're talking about children. We're not ready for, the, for such choices. It, it, it. Mm -hmm. The separation of church and state has been subverted in such an amazing way in that the churches don't have to pay taxes, right. but the tax dollars go to the religious schools. That's right. Yeah. It's not that's it's right. not separate, it's literally above because you benefit from the money that you don't have to contribute. All of this, again, like I like pointing out the hypocrisy and the inconsistency because we as... One of the reasons that churches don't pay taxes is because they give a lot of charity. So they, they put a lot of charity into the community. They give away a lot to the community. They provide education. They provide a community support system. A lot of the th these things they might not be able to provide had they have to pay 
So there's a reason why they don't have to pay taxes and it's not an unfair system because they do a lot for the community. They can, they're not actually special or logical. They're like, it's the Supreme Court is full of drunks and religious radicals. That's all it is. Sexual assaulters and the most corrupt people in the country. They're not special. They're not awesome. They're politics. So right here, really, this is the heart of the issue because a lot of these atheists, a lot of these secular extremists are very, um, they're very hateful against religion. They hate religion. So usually they try to mask it under objectivity or, or some sort of principle. But in reality, they just hate religion. And in this case, it comes out where they're just like, oh, they're just sexual assaulters. They're just a bunch of rapists. Meanwhile, in the, above, in the image, it shows the homosexual indoctrination of children, right? So that's actual um, predatory behavior. That's actual, you know, a lot of these LGBT groomers, they protect. They want these schools to teach homosexual propaganda while disregarding religion. So pretty much their values, uh, schools are mediums to pass on liberal secular values to the children. That's it. All they are. So let's talk a little bit about why John is onto something because the Supreme Court has been dismantling to some extent, um, you know, the secular education system in the country. So let's talk a little bit about that. So in a 2017 case, for instance, the court ruled that a church run preschool in Missouri was entitled to a state grant to resurface its playground. Three years later, the court ruled that Montana could not bar recipients of the state's private school voucher program from using them at religious schools. And last year, the court said that a main voucher program that sent rural students to private high schools and communities that had no public ones had to be open to religious schools. Look, that very last part, I think is way more complicated. If you're talking about students in rural parts of the country that don't have access to public schools, I can understand the reasoning behind it, right? Like the reasoning of allowing uh, for some funding to go to religious schools in those rural areas. But how about we build more public schools so uh, public money isn't going toward private institutions? But anyway. According to Anna, she says just build more public schools. But that costs a lot of money to the taxpayer. And that's also another previous point John made is why are churches taxes them? They're taxes them because of stuff like this, because they provide community support. A lot of people who can't afford school, they go to, you know, Christian run schools, which are funded by charity from the local community. And but notice the strategy here. She wants to get rid of um, public or any sort of public Christian schools that get government vouchers. She wants public schools to spread. And these public schools will then be used to promote secular liberal propaganda and ideology to children and including grooming and pedophilia by the LGBT. So this is their strategy. This is what they employ in order to undermine religion.